Investors frequently compare real estate and stock investing in terms of their returns. 34% of Americans believe that real estate is the best long-term investment, while only 18% say that stocks or mutual funds are the best long-term investment strategy. The truth is that both tactics have their merits and drawbacks. Stocks, for example, offer greater liquidity and higher profit margins over a shorter time horizon. Purchasing real estate may be more suitable if you want consistent returns and tax advantages. Investing in real estate You can generate income by purchasing residential or commercial properties to rent or flip. However, this approach generally requires a large upfront investment. Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REITs, are an alternative form of real estate investing that don't require financing or managing properties yourself. REITs allow you to own a share and profit from a pool of income-generating properties. Like a mutual fund, you can easily buy and sell REITs on stock exchanges and benefit from their diversification and liquidity. Investing in Stocks Investing in a stock makes you a shareholder in a company. As a shareholder, you can turn a profit by selling shares when the company's stock value rises or holding it while it pays dividends. You can purchase stocks individually through mutual funds or via exchange-traded funds or ETFs. Individual stock investments mean you profit or incur losses based on the performance of the company's stock. On the other hand, mutual funds and ETFs allow you to diversify your portfolio by investing in multiple stocks at once. Comparing Real Estate and Stocks Many investors buy real estate and stocks to build wealth over time. While both provide for potential for substantial profits, they differ in rates of return, risk, liquidity, and accessibility. Returns Historically, stocks have outperformed real estate with higher average returns. However, real estate provides steady rental income, cash flow opportunities, property appreciation over time, and tax benefits. Moreover, leveraging can amplify returns on real estate investments. Stocks have historically delivered better returns than real estate, 8% to 12% versus 2% to 4%. Real estate offers steady income through rental properties. Finding cash flow in real estate is easier compared to stocks or bonds. Real estate properties appreciate over time and provide tax benefits. Leveraging can significantly amplify returns on real estate investments. Emotional purchasing decisions and economic conditions can impact investment performance. Long-term real estate investments can yield significant returns due to appreciation and tax advantages. Costs Fees, commissions, account maintenance costs, and other expenses can reduce your returns in either asset class. However, investing in stocks generally requires a smaller initial investment. Some people engage in such programs as DRIPS, Dividend Reinvestment Programs, or Purchase Fractional Shares, which permit very small upfront expenditures, says Earl. On the other hand, investing in real estate by managing rental properties isn't an insignificant financial feat. As a real estate investor, you're responsible for the property's down payments, closing fees, mortgage, and recurring maintenance costs. Diversity Diversify your investments in real estate and stocks for a well-rounded portfolio. Real estate offers diversification because it doesn't correlate strongly with stocks and bonds. Don't invest all your money in just a few stocks as it limits growth and increases vulnerability to losses. To optimize returns and manage risk, build a diversified portfolio with a mix of equities, real estate, and other assets. Accessibility Stocks are more accessible to trade due to easy access to information and support. On the other hand, real estate investing has more barriers and complexities like taxes and lack of centralized information. Improvements in real estate can lead to higher income but come with trade-offs. Liquidity Stocks offer higher liquidity than real estate. You can buy and sell stocks quickly while selling real estate involves finding a buyer and dealing with legal and administrative requirements which can take weeks or months. Real estate's illiquidity can be a disadvantage for investors depending on their investment goals. However, some argue that illiquidity is the price to pay for higher long-term returns. Consider other factors beyond historical trends when evaluating investment strategies. Economic and political developments cause market conditions to change rapidly, impacting real estate and stock investments. Volatility 
Stocks are more volatile, but real estate may perform better during high inflation. The current market dynamics present challenges with the S&P 500 trading above historical valuation levels despite weak earnings and inflation concerns. Decreased consumer spending affects earnings, GDP growth, and the job market. Real estate can act as a hedge against inflation by increasing rental income, but a worsening economy can decrease demand and lower property values and rent rates. Consider your financial goals, time horizon, and risk tolerance when selecting an investment strategy. Stocks may be better for higher returns in a short period, while real estate can provide stable income for those willing to wait for a return on investment. Remember to diversify your portfolio with both equities and real estate and periodically rebalance your investments. Conduct thorough research and consult a financial advisor to make well-informed decisions aligned with your risk tolerance and financial goals. And with that, we've reached the end of this video all about stocks and property and which is better to invest in. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like it.